You know, today we introduced the uh, Windows on Snapdragon next generation platform, which is the um, 850 platform. We're excited to bring this uh, next generation of platform to the Windows uh, PC ecosystem. So, uh, you know, the Snapdragon 850 is um, is a basically a upgraded uh, version of our um, Snapdragon architecture, new uh, CPUs. Uh, new GPU, new uh, camera subsystems. You know, we very much build upon the 845 platform that's used in the mobile phone ecosystem, and we create that and optimize it for uh, the PC ecosystem as well. Uh, so we're excited to bring this today, announced here at Computex. Um, you know, enabling uh, a lot more innovative uh, platforms, enhanced graphics. Uh, we'll show you some examples of what those graphics can do. Um, enhanced performance. We're excited that also some new 64-bit capabilities in an SDK that was announced a couple of weeks ago at the Microsoft Build Conference. New capabilities in the um, uh, SDM850 platform is uh, over the previous generation, A35, we have about a 30% improvement in uh, overall performance, that's graphics and CPU performance. Um, the LTE speeds has also improved from a one gigabit modem to a 1.2 gigabit modem between the A35 and the 850 platform. Um, and we also have better power consumption, so up to 20% improvement in, over, in, uh, in power consumption for certain use cases as well. So what is the difference between 850 and the 845 platform that you see on Android uh, smartphones today? Is the 850 has an increased uh, CPU speed up to 2.96 gigahertz um, CPU speed on the 850. In addition to that, it's very highly optimized for the user experiences on a PC platform, which tailored for multitasking, tailored for um, a lot higher performance and continuous performance requirements than what we typically use on smartphones. So overall, a fully optimized platform experience on the 850. Um, over here you see our reference platforms that we have built with the uh, Snapdragon 850. Um, you know, we, we basically took a, a two-in-one form factor, um, detachable, we, um, um, you know, one USB Type-C port, charging display and data as well over the single port so we took it again a two-in-one detachable because it's a much more complicated reference design to build um, because it's got a lot less space and in the reference design we added everything that a, a, an OEM would want in a platform we have um, you know multiple cameras we have uh, infrared camera for facial uh, hello authentication uh, front camera for uh, video conferencing features for microphones for lots of uh, aggressive noise cancellation um, technologies fingerprint um, also a lot of antennas in here we have uh, 60 gigahertz technologies Wi-Fi 4x4 MIMO, 1.2 gigabits per second LTE. So we build an overall complex, um, very complex reference design where OEMs can then take this, choose the parts that they want to build their platform. Um, and if you can see, you know, mechanically, um, you know, the OEMs will, will change this platform. They wouldn't, they wouldn't use it as is, but inside it gives it all the components that you would want to build, uh, to build a real form factor based on the pieces you want. This, this, this specific platform is a 2K display, but of course the OEMs are going to change it based on what they want to build, um, build in their final product. And then demos we'll be showing here, we're showing uh, just an example of different content that can run on these Windows and Snapdragon. Um, this is a newly compiled 64-bit native uh, ARM application running on, on Windows, so 132 application. You can see the great perform native performance. Over here you get, um, we have the, it's actually a version of uh, a new game called Asphalt 9 based on the, um, it hasn't been released yet, but we worked with Gameloft to optimize and and, and run the platform as a UWP on 32-bit. On here you can see it running on a smooth, it works. And then over here on the right-hand side, we took a game um, that is a traditionally a 132 um, x86 game, and we're running that game um, on, the, on the Snapdragon platform and it's running emulated. And you can see the 3D performance and just the overall performance is fantastic. So giving, giving the, the ecosystem, the ISV ecosystem, capability to either do native compiled, run universal applications, or even run emulated, the platform is capable of handling um, all, all of those type of uh, 
different application architectures. Um, we expect partners will have these platforms available for the holiday 2018 selling season. Today we also announced uh, Samsung is a new partner for the Windows on uh, Snapdragon ecosystem. We're excited about that. Samsung obviously brings a lot of expertise in the mobile industry and they've been working with us on the Windows on Snapdragon uh, products for holiday 2018. And in addition, we expect to continue to work with the existing partners we have and additional partners will be announced at a later date as well.